Hi, I'm Shannon Gavin Johnson, the director of Legacy Museum on Main, and this is a brief moment in LaGrange's history. Samuel Reed's 1827 plan for the city provided a lot at the corners of Broad and Trinity Streets to be used by the Methodists. The small congregation of 12 built a hewn log structure to house their church and a school. A frame structure was built on the same site in 1831 to house the burgeoning church. When the Georgia Conference of the Methodist Episcopal Church South met in LaGrange in 1855, LaGrange Female College, which would evolve into the present-day LaGrange College, was purchased and added to the conference's missions. Discussions were also held at that meeting to provide a new brick structure for the church. This new, federal-style building was completed in 1858, just as events began to escalate around the country that culminated in the Civil War. Among the sacrifices made by the church during the war was the church bell, which was melted down in March of 1862 to make cannons for the Confederate States. The ringing of the Methodist church bell was not heard again for over a decade until a new bell was installed in 1873. That same year, the Parsonage Society, made up of the church's women, raised money towards the building of a school at Warren Temple Methodist Episcopal Church, a church founded by newly freed and free people of color. In 1897, congregates made the decision to replace the 1858 brick building with a new structure. Designed by architect Alexander Bruce of Atlanta, this new structure utilized Gothic and Romanesque revival styles and featured Belgian stained glass windows. Thirty years later, a church school building was constructed. It was well used by local students after LaGrange High School burned in 1943. Again, in 1963, the Methodists needed more room and constructed a sanctuary building that stands on the property today. The 1897 building was raised before construction and portions of the windows were used in construction of LaGrange College Chapel. The first service in the new sanctuary was Easter Sunday, March 29, 1964, allowing First United Methodists to claim the distinction of being the first religious institution to still be on its original site. To learn more about First United Methodist or other churches in our community, visit Legacy Museum on Main. This has been a brief moment in LaGrange's history.